Welcome to Marek's Mediocre Masterpieces, the show where I recreate a masterpiece in just 15 minutes using my paint set. Hello art lovers. Today I'm going to be painting one of Lucian Freud's many masterpieces. So let's hope this girl with a kit on doesn't turn out looking like something I have on. Get your timers on and let's go. Good luck everyone. I need to concentrate on these eyes really because if you get the eyes wrong then you're just screwed. Lucian Freud was born in 1922 in Germany. The grandson of Sigmund Freud. His family fled Berlin after his uncle was taken by the Nazis. So he spent most of his life in London. He's without a doubt one of the most enigmatic figures of 20th century art. A man who very much lived life exactly on his own terms. This picture here is of his first wife, Kitty Jarman. Freud famously painted people who were very, very close to him or who he was in a physical uh, relationships with. And it's notorious for his portraits being completely unflattering. I think they've got an incredible feel of energy to them. He used to keep his subject sitting for days and days on end. So this is his first wife who he eventually divorced. After this he um, fell in love with a lady called Carolyn Blackwood. And later on as they grew more uh, apart from each other. Another picture of here with Freud in the darkness. As you can tell the, the, the fracturedness of her, their relationship. I'm sweating a lot here. And Freud changed his styles from being a bit of a surrealist, I suppose, when he was younger, to a realist when he got older. A lot of this maybe is down to the influence of Francis Bacon, who um, he befriended. And I think Freud then abandoned his old sort of finer brush strokes to get a sort of thicker brush and a special paint which he used that gave a sort of very unique colour to his paintings. It's 8.32 and you're just doing someone's hairstyle. I mean, the cat is looking at me like he knows he's gonna cause me some big problems. You think you can paint me at age, man, do you? Why do people always do a voice like this for cats? 6.52, I am really struggling here to get the cat. I'm feeling under a lot of pressure because someone tweeted Emma Freud, the niece of Lucian Freud, and she said she's looking forward to seeing what I will do with the strangled cat. And I am pretty much murdering this picture so far. As long as you can get some sort of strangulation on the cat, then it's fine. Why is it always hot every day I try and paint? Lucian Freud was famous for doing very uncompromising nude pictures he didn't really care what people thought or how much the painting sold for. He was just interested in doing art for himself. And I think that is a lot to be admired. The cat is sulking. Why? Because it looks absolutely rubbish. Get that fingered round that cat's neck. I'd like to strangle you as well, cat, because you are giving me a lot of bother. Three minutes, 26. This is really good. Well done, you got blue paint all over your hand. Oh no, an error. Two minutes 37, there's paint everywhere. I've got brush problems. I'm just gonna give an idea of the blue outfit. Yeah, a bad idea, mate. This turns out, this is a very, very difficult painting. Get back to that cat, you idiot. One minute, it's one minute. Give her a chance to have a bit of a neck. What did you do that for? I'm making countless mistakes here. If in doubt, put hair over it to disguise that I really badly messed her neck up. Oh! Oh! It's so difficult. I've got blue paint on my hand. I've put her in a neck brace. No wonder she looks shocked. Hmm. There we have Lucian Freud's Girl with a Kitten. And here's my version. Let's call it Freudian Slop. I want to give this 
a starting eBay price of 11 pence. The eBay listings in the description below as is my PayPal fund if you want to help me buy some paints and coffees. Next time my friends is going to be the last one in this series and I'm going to paint Whistler's Mother by James Whistler. So please send me your versions of those. I would very much like to see them. And that's it for now. Happy painting. Bye. you shall I? You suit yourself. Well, the main reason is cats are arseholes. 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 Okay, fair enough, you got a point. <laughs>